Hello everyone and welcome to another exciting video on Classroom Digital Tools. For this week's video we will be focusing on, well, not shark cage diving, and not flying over the lava fields of an active volcano, nor is it about small animals that like to hide in boxes. Instead we will focus on... <laughs> Yes, Blackboard. Now please do not hit the stop or pause button, even if you are not a teacher who needs to use Blackboard to create their teacher web page, you can still learn a lot from watching this video, and it can be fascinating to learn the steps that teachers go through in order to create their teacher web pages. Now normally you would access the Blackboard website through the public internet, but since for my district, the website is not live yet. There's a special link that you need to go to. And that link will be this right here. It will be in the description of this particular video. If you are a teacher in a different school district altogether, please check with your webmaster to see what special link you need to go to if your website is not live yet. Or if it is live, I'm sure you just go to the live website to log in. So after typing this in, go ahead and hit enter. And it takes you to the district website, and this is what it's going to look like. Next step is go to select a school. Choose your relevant institution, in this case, Smithfield Summer High School. Go up here, click on sign in. Your login ID will be the same one that you use to log into desktops at work. In other words, it will be your Active Directory login. Click Sign In. Then click on the Classrooms tab. Find your name. Click on it. And then click on Site Manager in the top right. Now you will have access to your teacher web page so that you may edit content. And then click on the home button right here. This right here shows how your home page will be organized. In this box, you will be writing about yourself, such as your educational background, who you are. In here would go your teaching schedule. Over here are three apps that are required by the county. This first one are JCPS announcements, so basically these are general announcements from the district. These right here are school announcements that we publish on the website. And these are upcoming events that will be linked to a Google Calendar. Again, these three are required for your website, as well as these two. Also, even though these are called apps, don't think of them as being like smartphone apps. Think of them more as building blocks for your website. These two boxes over here are gray because you can make changes to them, which is why that little edit icon is there. So let's click on About Teacher. And here it pulls up the page where you enter in information about yourself. So I'm going to go ahead and enter in my name. Then for the biography, I'm going to use some information from that I already have on my current website. So going to my current website, I'm going to copy all of this here, right click and select copy. You can also do control C. Then going back, back to Blackboard, I'm going to make sure the cursor is active in there. Now you cannot right click and hit paste. Instead, you can do Control V to paste all the information in there. And of course, you can also click on this icon to paste. Now, I'm going to have to change this link later on, but I would like the text to be a little bit larger. So I'm going to highlight the text over here. And here we go. I'm going to change this over to normal, which makes it a little bit bigger. The site offers many features for adjusting the text. Here you have a cut function, copy, paste, 
paste as text. Here you can change, again, the size of the text. You can change the color of the text, if you so wish. Go and change that back to black, though. If you want, you can boldface, italicize, or underline text. You just highlight it first, then click bold, italicize, underline. So you just make the needed adjustments to undo all that. There we go. You can align left, align to the center, align to the right. You can also insert links. Now just to make sure that my link here is accurate, I'm going to highlight it. I'm going to click on insert link. And I could find a link, uh, I could link it to something that exists already on my website, but instead I'm going to add in a web address link. So I'm going to click here, then going to my YouTube channel. Going to copy my link here, enter it here. Text display, I'm going to keep it as here. I wanted to open a new window, but if I wanted to, I could change it to open in the same window. I'll keep it as new. Now I simply click on insert link. It should be there after we save all this. In addition, if you need to add a special character, you can go to special character and click on it. And you can see a wide variety of uh, special characters. For example, if you wanted to enter in a um, epsilon symbol, the zeta symbol, they have a number of Greek letters, delta. They have accents over letters, the tilde. So this can be very useful. You can also insert a file and run a spell check. Next thing that you need to do is add a photo. Now the county wants you to add a professional looking photo. They do not want selfies. They do not want pictures of you on vacation. And believe me, that hurts. I would love to add a picture of myself on vacation on horseback or surfing or from Stonehenge. But the county wants us to keep it wants us to keep it professional. So maybe add a photo that was taken of you during your book. So I cl simply clicked on browse and I'm going to choose an image that's on my hard drive but you can select an image that you've already up uploaded into the system or an image that was in a shared library but I'm going to click on upload image browse and I know already it's going to be under pictures and I'm going to double click on that and I'm going to click on continue and it will automatically auto size it to work well with the website then you just click on insert image success your you uploaded your image then click on save All right, very good. Let's say you want to take a look at what your website currently looks like after doing all that. Simply go up here to click on View Website and expand it out all the way and it will show you what your website currently looks like. Here again you see the image on the left, the biography, the link, and this link I'll have to change later. Over here are the county announcements, school announcements, and upcoming events. Very cool. I'm going to X out this now. Next thing the school wants the next thing the county wants you to do is work on the schedule section. But before we do that, if you would like, you can click on details and enter in your contact information, like your work email address your work phone, and again, type in your degrees and certifications. 
All right, let's take a look at the schedule section. So I'm going to go back to my home page here. And I'm going to click on schedule. And here you just type in what your different different classes will be. Like block one, block two, block three, and block four. Of course, since you don't know what your schedule is going to look like for next year. You can just type in your general subject area. For example, English if you're an English teacher, uh, biology if you're a biology teacher, etc. You can fill in the details later on, uh, such as when your planning is, what type of biology you're teaching, AP biology, statistics if you're a math teacher, etc. So for now, just keep it general uh, because you have no idea what your schedule is going to look like next year. And you can just make adjustments later on. And again, when you are done, you click on Save. Then you just success, you saved your content, and then you go back to the home page. Now keep in mind the district does want you to keep the two column format here. You can add other apps to your website, and for example, you can do a photo gallery and add that in there. You can add a file sharing feature. We'll go over those details in a future video, but for now, please uh, dive in and establish your biography under About Teacher and uh, get the basics of your schedule in. Thank you for watching this video. If you have found it useful, please like it, give some positive comments, and please subscribe to my channel and share it with your friends. Thank you again very much, and have a great day!